Hello, and welcome to Rialto Economic Heartbeat. I am Mayor Deborah Robertson, and I am up at September's, one of our wonderful facilities and establishments that is here in the Renaissance Marketplace. And I'm here with Darren, as well as Amanda, and they are basically running the shop here. So I wanna say thank you guys for Thanks giving for me a, a moment of time. I mean, September's has definitely been a hit. Uh, you were a second, and I think we like to think of the fact of speaking with uh, your parents that you guys now with this facility being the second, the first in uh, Rancho Cucamonga, mm -hmm. that we're on our way to maybe making a franchise out of this. So I'm excited yeah. about mm -hmm. September's. And I want to let our community know a little bit about September. So why don't we start with you, Darren, and tell us a little bit about the business and how it started. So the owner, my father, uh, he uh, was in the army and stationed in uh, Vincenza, Italy. Mm -hmm. We won't say how long ago, but you know, mm -hmm. a little bit far back. Mm -hmm. uh, right outside the gates of the base, there was a, a burger pub called Septembre's. Uh, as ah, I said, in Italian, yeah, okay. not, not September, just September. Except this, I never, uh, and I every, every time they had time off, you know, or they were done with their duties, they were able to leave the base, they would crowd around this, uh, this burger pub. Mm -hmm. uh, they'd shut the place down, they'd party like rock stars, and annually they all get together and have a, uh, called a, a reunion, if you will, mm -hmm. and they all get together and talk about their, oh, remember this time at September days, remember this time at September days, uh, seems to be all that they talk about. Mm -hmm. So uh, when my father came back, uh, obviously they have a few other restaurants, but they decided to open their own family, uh, basically a local spot where friends and family can gather, mm -hmm. uh, have a good time, have some good food, homemade food, some uh, good drinks, uh, and, you know, experience live entertainment. And right. uh, here we are at number two. The first one opened in November 2014. Okay. Uh, and this one just opened in February, so. February of this year, right? February of this year, yeah. Boy, a few months we, old. Were we waiting? <laughs> oh, yes. Those of us, I was sending people over to the Rancho Cucamonga one just oh, so really? they could get a feel for September. <laughs> so everyone was waiting with great anticipation. Yes, very excited. To yes. Be here. And so, Amanda, why don't you just share with me what some of the services that you, you, you offer? Well, we offer our good food and meals and drinks. We also have live entertainment mm -hmm. regularly. We do, we did a couple of live, um, outside events. We did Taste the Rialto. Yes. Oh, yes. Stuff like that with the community. Mm -hmm. So that's always nice. And, yeah. and I think you guys were following up. Yes, you did participate in Taste of Rialto this year, but previously your first uh, launch was Corky's mm -hmm. and so you've yeah. definitely been participating in the Taste of Rialto every year, every year with us and we really appreciate that yeah. as well. Oh, it's a fun, fun experience. experience. Yes. Yeah. 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 Fun. Yes. <laughs> but uh, also tell me what some of the items are and some of the food that you uh, you service or more importantly what is it that everyone really that you're known for uh, here in, in September's what is the plate? Everything here is made homemade, uh, mm -hmm. from our aioli mayonnaise to our prime rib dips. I mean, we cook everything, we slow roast it, we fresh slice it. Mm. Uh, everything is made from scratch. You know, it's nothing's it's frozen, nothing's made out of a box. Uh, I would say we're very well known for our, uh, we have tasso gravy fries, which is a, a homemade tasso gravy, almost like a breakfast gravy, but with that. bacon we're... and ham. And oh. uh, it's actually very, very good smothered in fries. Uh, I would say our, <laughs> our genre is more of a, uh, modern southern flair, mm -hmm. uh, you know, from shrimp skewers to chimichangas and stuff. Uh, and we have what we call bang bang chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. They're basically like fried chicken bites uh, with a homemade chipotle mayo uh, sauce. Okay. Uh, that is, it's sweet and tang. It's called bang bang sauce, and it's uh, believe me, it's, 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 it's got some bang to it. Yeah, leads you straight to the tap room, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. Everybody's like bang bang sauce. Uh, I don't know, and they try it, and they're like, oh my gosh, we have a couple servers that uh, he recommends every sa everything he, we offer on our menu. He recommends with a side of bang bang sauce because oh, okay. it, it goes with everything. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. Well, I know that I, I highly recommend the waffle fries. Uh, oh, the waffle fries are. Oh, those are fantastic, but. So what influenced uh, your father and you uh, to get started? They've had 
you know, Quirky's Kitchen and Bakery, which is, you know, like going to grandma's house. It was mm -hmm. uh, a very homey, you know, makes you feel at home, you know, comfort food, things like that. Well, after you leave Quirky's, you want to go and get a drink or something. So they really after wanted leave, to find a, a... After you leave grandma's house? After you leave grandma's house, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> when you leave grandma's house, you, you, need, you need a break. You need to oh, go really? get a drink. <laughs> I'm beginning. I'm really beginning to feel... I mean, God bless my grandma. She was a, an amazing woman. But yeah, sometimes you just need to... So they really wanted to find a local neighborhood place, uh, but a local place that friends and family can gather, they could uh, have a good time, you know, relax, you know, with or without the kids. I mean, very family friendly mm -hmm. place. Uh, but grab a drink, get some fresh food, and just kind of relax and enjoy yourself, you know, and uh, enjoy some live in entertainment. It's not very often you walk into a place and there's a live band playing. What were some of the positive things uh, about bringing the business here to Rialto, Amanda? Well, Rialto is an up and coming neighborhood. It's expanding everything. The opportunity when it presented itself would mm -hmm. seem like a good one. Premium place. Um, we have all these families up here, and not nothing like our um, concept over here mm -hmm. to draw them in. So we just thought it'd be a really good fit to help bring everyone together out here and well, I get along with the community that my brother and I both live in as well. So that's, that's true. You both you both have uh, bought homes here. Or? I work and visit here. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, we needed a. Uh, I mean, if we like I said, we both live in North Rialto, and it's. We needed a place, mm -hmm. you know, not just the business wanting to be here, but mm -hmm. as a community member, we, we needed a place like this up mm -hmm. here, a place mm -hmm. that we could go and relax and have a drink and have some food and not having to drive, you know, South Rialto or even San Bernardino or Ranch Cucamonga. You know, we get to stay local. I drive two minutes and I get to have, you know, anything I want in this, in this new shopping center. <laughs> yeah. That's one of, the, one of the pluses. We expected to be pretty busy, uh, but we far exceeded all of our expectations being here, and it's been uh, one of the warmest welcomes I've ever had, you know, starting in a new community. It's been really, really good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, well, I was here Saturday, mm -hmm. and I was here Monday. <laughs> and definitely, I think uh, the slogan of place where you can flock mm -hmm. really seems to be, I don't care what time I come, there is it's this busy, wa yes. wave of busy yeah. and uh, it's beautiful. What's been kind of the business philosophy though? What would you say? Good food, good drink, good people. Just bring everyone together. Like you said, flock is part of our motto. Mm -hmm. Birds of a feather flock together. So mm -hmm. you want everyone to feel like they're all one. And when you come here, everything's just a good time together. Well, being that I'm a grandmother, and <laughs> great grandmother, I, I gotta Darren. wonder though. Uh, I know there's one T-shirt which yeah. I love, and I I ordered it, and it's uh -huh. the one. It says something about this is your normal. Not way. your grandma's bar. Not your grandma's yeah. bar. So some so. people take offense to that, but <laughs> really, what it comes, where it stemmed from, was Quirky's. Quirky's <laughs> is your grandma's place. It's <laughs> a restaurant, so yes. it's saying, yeah. People that know we're associated, we're associated, but it's not Quirky's. It's a different environment. That's right. Yes. It's not your grandma's bar. Yeah, going to September's <laughs> is not like going to grandma's house. It's a much. <laughs> no much offense to grandma's. No, but it it we're at saying all. we're setting That's ourselves I mean, please aside. Bring, bring your grandmas yeah. here. Yes, you know, yes. you're more than welcome. But no yes, offense it's, taken. It's a, it's a play Trust on me. the whole Quirky's uh, affiliation yeah, that, no, that we really, do have. I really love it. <laughs> and I also know that a lot of people don't really understand the uh, the the logo and things and it's here before us but uh -huh. this is basically the isn't this the army the airborne um, emblem of when you're in air I, force i believe I mean, the army eagle air is yeah they were they were all in uh, in uh, i think my father was in the 101st air uh, airborne division mm -hmm. uh, which is where the kind of the uh, eagle comes from uh but yeah the, the the logo you know the eat drink flock you know that's pretty much what eat drink you know, and what flock. we say eat, that's right. drink and flock, flock together you know mm -hmm. it's a good place to uh, come yeah, as a as a group of, and spend some some quality time with each other. Right, I, I think we all know that birds of a feather flock yeah. together. Flock yeah, together. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that came from that came from grandma. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. No, but um, what do you think is going to be the future goals for the business? So we are um, obviously expanding. Uh, mm -hmm. We started in Rancho. It was actually uh, a great hit. We've moved over here, mm -hmm. uh, and it's been uh, above and beyond everything, you know, far exceeded our expectations. Uh, as far as the future, we would like to keep uh, growing and not necessarily franchising, um, yeah. as in selling the business to other people, but, you know, growing, growing the brand. You know, okay. there's a lot of communities out there that are very similar to Rialto that 
uh, need a place like this. Mm -hmm. You know, you have your big corporate chains, but mm -hmm. it's a it's a much different environment when you walk into uh, a corporate chain like that versus walking into September. So tell me, what is this VIP program? You go to the website and you basically just become a VIP member. You sign in with either Facebook or Google or your email address. You get emails from us. So that you know, you get emails with the um, uh, current events, okay. uh, the new bands that are be playing, new food items. You get to see reviews on the menu items. You know how is the the prime rib dip? You get special promotions. You know you're the first to know when we're doing something special oh, uh, for your Father's Day specials or you know the Super Bowl or anything like that. You get to know what's going on at September's before everybody else. Fantastic. Getting all the new yeah, information it's a, it's in your email rather than going to the site to find yeah, it all. Yeah, you just go to September's.com. There's I believe there's a link that just says become VIP member. Uh, you click it, sign in with Facebook or Google, and then uh, now you're a, a very important person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to know. It is, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going to definitely click in. <laughs> you host events. What kind of events are you uh, hosting here now? Or? So we've done a few different things. We do a lot of corporate parties and stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't ever shut down per se, but uh, we hosted 150 people a couple weeks ago. Really? Did like wow. an in-house catering almost for them. Uh, we shut down our patio and did wine tastings and stuff. Mm, we do a lot of different, we haven't started yet at this location, but hopefully we'll be soon. We do tap takeovers where our um, vendors will come in and bring in just different swag and stuff to give away and taste some new beers. Mm -hmm. um, Yes, Just that was one of the major things uh, when we were working on developing this, uh, this plan and site and mm -hmm. you guys were coming in was the uh, levels of how many taps you have on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think uh, one of the things I recalled was that you were going to exceed the number of taps that you have over in Rancho Cucamonga. Yeah. Far exceeded, yeah. Far exceeded. <laughs> yeah, I think we have 20 or 21 over there and I asked for at least 30, but mm. so we got our 30 here. We have 30 right. here, yeah. Yeah, That's... they didn't want to go too, for, too much further than that because then you lose what we're trying to do and introducing new things all the time. So. Maybe too much variety sometimes, but yeah. 30 is definitely a great number. That sounds exciting. That's a lot of beer. Yeah. That's, a lot, that's a lot of beer. <laughs> yeah, I don't find that most places. Yeah. So. And so, but that's it's great, and that's unique, and I think some of the taps that you're bringing in are, are local and regional, <laughs> as well as some of the, yes. the major brands, right? So. Yeah, you have your regular domestics and all those, but um, the majority of all of them, even our rotating taps, are mostly local. Oh, good. Some very local. So Ranch at Cook least Manga, California, Redlands, yeah. I mean, I'd say, uh, at least 60% of our, our, our beers that we have on tap are just Southern California. Just Southern California. Just Southern yeah. California. Yeah. yeah, I would say farthest is probably about San Diego, but still the Southern California mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of breweries out here, a lot yes. of good, good stuff. Yes, we do. I traveled to New York recently and it, I couldn't find a good beer if I tried. <laughs> it was oh, <laughs> wow. At least at the local level, right? Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the local level, yeah. yeah the they had just levels. basically the big national brands, but it's not like the, the beer scene that we have mm -hmm. out here in California. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. But um, so, you know, how regular are you guys providing the live music? Um, four days a week. Four days. So Tuesday, that's... Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights okay. weekly. Local bands? All of them. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, so we try to get a variety, um, you know, as far as the process of becoming a, a band, you know, usually we just ask for some kind of media package or a Facebook link or something just to show us who you are, what you are. Uh, we'll bring you in for a show, see how the response is with the community, how the, you know, how everybody likes it. Uh, and then we'll kind of book you, book you from there. But yeah, we try to keep it fresh, keep it new, uh, okay. but all local talent. I'd say almost all of it's from the immediate Inland Empire. Great, great. That's fantastic. Tuesday nights are nice because we have our Taco Tuesday bar. Mm -hmm. So we just have a solo acoustic act. So they come in and people really like it because it's much more mellow but still live entertainment. You don't mm -hmm. get anywhere else on Taco Tuesday, really. Mm -hmm. Some mariachi bands, other places, but it's different mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And Thursday is also usually an acoustic set but more of a band. And then Friday, Saturday, it gets a little louder. Today's hits, We rock, rock. out on Fridays and Yeah, Saturdays. that's when you want to come and dance and party. Yeah, yeah full, full create dance. A, create yeah, it's a, a kind of time. a little space in the corner for a Yeah, all the tables shift. We have lights. There's a little area to dance. And so small, cozy area, but it's mm -hmm. fun, yeah. It's amazing. It has been a wonderful place to actually flock. And, uh, you know, and before we uh, close out, why don't you just Rumble down. Who wants to take on rambling down the the dates and what are the specials as they uh, definitely are listed? I know there's Taco Tuesday, mm -hmm. there's something Wednesday. That would be her. Amanda, you're <laughs> She's on. Master, right. of the, master of the specials. I hope I don't miss anything. Yeah. 
So um, weekly we have Monday through Friday we have weekday specials. So mm. Monday we have uh, Margarita Monday. Mm. So we have our um, our house margaritas for four dollars. They're frozen margarita. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. After a couple might get you. Mm. But very good. Actually. They come traditionally. You Dangerous. can have fruit flavor, and then we also have our bottomless chips and salsa on special on Mondays to okay. pair with that. Um, we have Taco Tuesday. Mm -hmm. You get three tacos or three taquitos for four dollars. The two dollars more you can have rice and beans. So a whole platter you get for six oh. bucks, which okay. can't be anywhere. That's amazing. And after five p.m., we set up our taco bar, so you actually take your ticket and you get to dress your own tacos and everything, rather than just taking it out of the kitchen. Unlimited guacamole. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've never seen that anywhere, but you yeah, you can actually put whatever Tuesdays. you want on it. So that's really <laughs> nice. And then we have a lot of drink specials. We have. Our schooners are on sale. We have Coronas, Modelo, Dos Equis, Sangria, all the nice drinks mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Okay. Um, Wednesdays are Why Not Wednesday. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? No, so no. we have our, our house wines on special. Okay. Um, so we do that. And then we have half price all of our shares, which is a fantastic deal. It's Killer like our appetizers, mm -hmm. but our appetizers feed three, four people easy. Mm -hmm. So you get the full portion, half the price, all day open to close. So mm -hmm. that day is a hit. Oh, we, okay. Yeah, you can't miss out. Then you can try everything. And then Thursday. Thursday is our throwback Thursday. Okay. So we have a couple different drink specials really is the main thing there. We have our turkey pot pie, which at this location we actually offer all the time, mm -hmm. Monday th mm -hmm. during the week. At our location, it's only on Thursdays. But um, we have the old fashioned tequila sunrise, drinks like that going on. All right, and then Friday. Flatbread Friday. Flatbread Friday, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like we're back to almost uh, yeah, Margarita so we Monday. Yeah, we have our shots of fireball on our our beer bottles on special and our flatbreads are fantastic so mm -hmm. margarita is my favorite because it's got a little garlic butter spread and okay. cheese and tomato and basil so. oh god so yeah, every fr i've been eating every friday for four and a half years so well. not to mention we'd also have happy hour from three to seven every day okay. and then late night happy hour again from 9 p.m to uh, 11 p.m. Oh, Monday through Thursday. So we have specials of all hours of the day. Oh, yeah, there's great. a certain hour, a certain day we have a, a different special for it going. So, and brunch. Uh, and then on Saturdays and Sundays we're actually open for breakfast from nine to one with bottomless mimosas for seventeen dollars, uh, chilaquiles, which best My chilaquiles favorite. I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, vegetarian. So and it's vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. So we got uh, oh, breakfast good. on Saturday and Sunday. So every day we have something special going on. Oh. I want to just say you mentioned the the turkey. Uh, pot pie uh -huh. and in closing I just want to say that I shared with you that your turkey pot pie has now traveled all the way to San Diego California Even impressed mom. That's, and impressed that's good. my mother <laughs> and boy it was a hit so yeah. and she and she could attest to it being actually fully homemade mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah. homemade so, crust yeah. Homemade. Homemade. Yeah, it's... and she loved it so you know it's been great talking with you Darren well, and Amanda you, you know everybody you plus well. I know we have people waiting to come in, but I just want to say, again, uh, this is Rialto. We love you. We're happy you're here. Thanks and for having us. I happy would to like here. to close out by saying it is very important to have our business community. They are the economic heartbeat of our community. So this is Mayor Robertson. See you next time.